Munich Marienplatz shortly before 11 a.m. Many tourists facing the Neues Rathaus, new town hall, which looks like a masterpiece from medieval times, but is in fact only 150 years old. But that's a story for another video. The tourists are waiting for the famous Glockenspiel to begin. But what is shown here? Let the history unfold. The Glockenspiel consists of two levels. Each level tells its own story. The first level tells about the wedding between Renata of Lorraine, sitting here, and William V, Duke of Bavaria, sitting here. Renata was born in 1544 in Nancy and was considered a beauty in her time and she had many suitors like Prince William of Orange, King Frederick II of Denmark or King Eric XIV of Sweden. Political reasons then tipped the scales in favor of a marriage with William. Until her death in 1602, her life was characterized by modesty and caring for the sick and poor. William V, Duke of Bavaria, the handsome fellow here, was born in 1548 and he had a formative influence on Munich, starting with his wedding to Renata, which lasted 18 days, which was already excessive in his time. The guest list read like the who is who of the Holy Roman Empire. There were several feasts with more than 10 courses. Court dwarfs jumped out of pastry. Yes, you heard right, little people jumped out of pies. There were hunting parties, church services, masquerade balls, theater plays, games for the public. And the music for the wedding was composed by one of the most accomplished musicians of his time. <laughs> no, don't be silly, not this one. This one, Orlando di Lasso, one of the most versatile and prolific composer of the Renaissance era, who wrote over 2000 works in his lifetime with German, Latin, Italian and French vocals. And I only make YouTube videos in English. That makes you doubt. And then there was jousting. This is also shown in the Glockenspiel. There you can see the Bavarian Knight in the colors of white and blue and the Knight of Lorraine in the colors of yellow and red. And now you can bet which knight will win. All bets are accepted. It's the Bavarian knight, of course. So, why was the wedding of 1568 important for Munich? Well, first of all, it was a sort of proto-Oktoberfest. However, it needed a second wedding 242 years later that established the Oktoberfest as a yearly event. The other reason might be that William V was simply an important ruler for Munich. He was a supporter of the arts and the Catholic Church. He had the Church of St. Michael built, in which the sarcophagi of Renata and William lie to this day. And he fought wars, preferably against Protestant rulers. All those things, plus employing Orlando di Lasso and celebrating a huge party for 18 days, are one thing. They are expensive. And he had already inherited the state from his father in financial difficulties. So he had one ingenious idea to solve this problem. Why should the people of Munich buy expensive beer from the northern German town of Einbeck? If he sold the beer to the thirsty public, he could make a profit. So he founded his own brewery, the Munich Hofbräuhaus. In a way, he therefore founded the Munich beer culture. So next time you leave totally wasted the Hofbräuhaus and can't find the way back to your hotel, you know who to thank for. However, all his attempts to restore finances were ultimately unsuccessful, so he had to abdicate in 1597. Before we take a look at the second level of the Glockenspiel, let me thank you for watching this video. Please follow the three holy YouTube virtues, like, comment and subscribe. On the second level you see the Schaeffler Tanz, the Cooper's Dance. Schaeffler in German or Coopers in English are trained barrel makers. Legend goes that 1517, after a severe plague epidemic, the Coopers were the first to venture out onto the streets again. They began to dance to encourage the other citizens and show them that the plague was over. There is only one problem. There was no plague in Munich in 1517. The first documented Schaeffler dance dates back to 1702 since then, the Coopers have been dancing every seven years. Why seven years? Nobody knows. In former times, only unmarried journeymen were allowed to dance the Schaeffler Tanz. These days, the rules are more relaxed, 
Since the Cooper's profession is dying out, married men and men outside the profession are also allowed to dance these days. If you're here in Munich, you can watch the Glockenspiel every day at 11 a.m. or at 12 a.m. And in the month from March to October, you can also watch the Glockenspiel at 5 p.m. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in an exclusive guided tour through Munich, please don't hesitate and contact me. See you in the next video.